Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking to you about this brand new tweak called iOS 7 lock screen weather. Um, and this is a SideJet add-on. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that's how it's pronounced, SideJet. Um, and uh, it's really cool. This is basically it. It literally puts weather on your lock screen. Uh, that's probably one of the coolest tweaks that I've seen on here. Sorry about that. Um, however, there's a big downside to it. As of right now, it does not automatically add your location into here. So once you download it, uh, it's very simple. All you need is you need iFile. Uh, you go into iFile. And then you would go into, let me get back to the main. So, okay, so you would go to System, Library. Then you look for lock sidejets. Uh and then iOS 7 lock screen weather whatever. Uh and then you go into script and it is config.js. And in here now they have a little picture thing. Uh it says a pint of milk. Um then it says, thank you for downloading iOS 7 lock screen weather, blah, 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 blah. So it says right here uh, to please visit that website to look up your W-O-E-I-D, which I don't know what that means or stands for, but apparently it has something to do with Yahoo weather, with, with your Yahoo weather lookup, whatever. Um, so you would type in that web address into your computer. Uh, or in a Safari on here, you can do either one, and then it asks for your town, state, country, address, zip code, or landmark. You look it up, and it pulls up this number. Uh, the number that it gave me is a number that you see right here, this uh, 2511842 number. Uh, and then you enter that number right here, uh, where it says uh, cookie W-O-E-I-D. Uh, and then, the one after it, you'll notice up here, it says use C or F to display the correct temperature format. C is Celsius, F is Fahrenheit. That's kind of self-explanatory, but it defaults to C. So I changed mine to F for Fahrenheit because I live in the United States. Um, but if you prefer Celsius, then keep it at C. If you prefer Fahrenheit, then put it at F. And then you can see there's some examples down here for like New York, London, Moscow, Tokyo. Uh, those are basically the numbers that you would put in for those down there too. Okay, so after you're done with that, you press done. And you don't, there's no respring required or anything. All you do is you go back, lock your phone, open it back up, and boom, there it is. Everything is pretty good on it. I mean, it uses Yahoo Weather, um, which is what Apple uses throughout their thing. Uh, one thing that I didn't notice was this right here. Uh, the developer has discussed that. Sorry, I need to unlock it, otherwise the screen's gonna go black again. Uh, the developer did discuss that little, um, tidbit there. However, uh, they said that it was just a quick mess up why it's not, uh, why it's blurry. That is to show you, um, the weather, or the, uh, wind speed, sorry. So that shows you the wind speed. Now... To actually enable it, you just go into settings, side jets, lock side jet order, and then it's right there. Once you set that, you will need a respring. Besides that, everything in this looks beautiful. Really good tweak. Highly recommend it. Um, again, that's iOS 7 lock screen weather. It's $1.49 on the Cydia store. Uh, it supports the iPhone 5, 5S, and 5C, uh, and the iPod Touch 5th Gen. Uh, but, uh, support for four and a half inch screens and iPad is coming soon. They have that submitted to, uh, to Big Boss and it should be out within the next 24 hours. Um, so that's about it. Make sure to subscribe to my videos if you like them and I'll see you next time. Bye.